everyone! Awesome Dizzy Toys here, and we're going outdoors today! We'll be playing with a Play-Doh Campfire Picnic playset. Who's ready to gather around the campfire, cook up some food, make marshmallows on a stick, play some songs, and tell some scary stories? But before we do that, let's take everything out of the box first. Here's our campfire. Here's a pan we could cook with. On the bottom we got some molds. Let's see what else. Whoop! Five cans of Play-Doh. Oh, this looks like the play mat. Here's our campgrounds. Oh, we even got a little lake. Woo! These are a lot of accessories. Let's check this one out first. Here's an extruder. We got a roller. This is a knife. Sharp. Cool! We even get a lollipop stick! And the green spatula! What else do we have? We got a lot of stuff in this playset! We could make a bread. Ooh, there's a marshmallow. I believe that's a peanut. We could make a square. Some bananas. A honeycomb. Some strawberries. We get a fork. Mmm, a watermelon. And we can make a circle. Here are two wooden sticks. We'll be using this for the marshmallows. Bottom of this plate, we can make some more food. Here's the top of the plate. And here's a closer look at the pan again. Here's where we can make the good stuff. A steak, an egg, and bacon! Alrighty. So, the first thing we need to do to get our campfire picnic started is to make a campfire. These wooden logs act as an extruder, so we could just push our Play-Doh through that. To make our campfire look as realistic as possible, we'll start with some red Play-Doh. Just get a little bit of that. I'm sure you guys have seen some orange flames too, so we'll need to get some orange Just need a little bit of the orange as well. Get the same amount as the red. And you also see yellow in fire, so we'll need a little bit of yellow. Do, do, we're gonna make a campfire. This is gonna be the best campfire ever. Okay, so the best way to make this is just kind of mold it together. Don't mold it too much or it's gonna blend into one color. And let's put it inside the logs. Just realized, we got some big logs. This should burn through the whole night. We'll be nice and toasty. And when you're ready, just press down onto the stone. And let there be fire! Woo! Hot, hot, hot! Woo! My fingers are burning! Woo! Wow, making the fire is pretty easy. Spin this around, and if you guys have noticed, on top of some of the stones, there are a few other molds you can make. It's pretty much all types of creatures you would see on campgrounds. And if we pull back this stone, we could start one of my favorite activities, making marshmallows and putting them on a stick. So I'll get a little bit of white play-doh. Who's got a guitar? Me! Play us some campfire tunes! One, two. Okay. Ooh, you got some guitar skills! Let's make a Play-Doh campfire song. Here we go. We made a campfire. We're gonna toast some marshmallows. We made a campfire. We're gonna toast some marshmallows. <laughs> All right, we made our marshmallow. Now let's just attach it to the stick. And the key to not burning your marshmallow is to rotate your stick. You don't want to keep it on one side for too long or else it's gonna burn. With some chocolate and graham crackers, this will be delicious! Let me make one more marshmallow because I want to show you what I like to do. Mm. 
<laughs> that campfire tune stuck in my head. And what I like to do is make a double marshmallow stick. Give this video a thumbs up if you like to do the same. And now let's just ru- Oh! Too close to the fire. Woo! I worked up an appetite. Now let's make some dinner. You know what we also need to do? We need to tell some campfire scary stories. Ooh, me, 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 me. All right, take it away, scary voice guy. There's a story about a man who would camp alone and he would eat lots and lots of bacon. Ooh, scary. But it wasn't only bacon that he took. Bum, bum, bum. He also took lots and lots of eggs. And he only liked his eggs one way, sunny side up. <laughs> and finally, there was one last meal that he took. It was the mother of all meals. The T-Bone Steak. <gasps> one day, that man choked on a T-Bone and it was the end of his life. <gasps> now, the rumors are the ghost of this man travels all campgrounds, haunting those who eat steak, eggs, and bacon. Uh, aren't we eating steak, eggs, and bacon? Nah, no need to worry. This is just a story. No, it's not. He dares anyone to cook all three on a frying pan. Because once you do, they say the ghost of this man comes out when he smells the food cooking on top of the campfire. Okay, stop scaring us. It's true. Wait, can we just take a minute and take a look at this wonderful meal? We got a sunny side up egg, a juicy T-bone steak, and bacon! Ghost schmost. Did you guys hear that? <sighs> Boo! All right, scary story time over. We got a big day ahead of us. We got to hike tomorrow, do some fishing, play in the water. So let's make some food for tomorrow before we sleep in our tents. Rolled out some brown dough. And we'll make some bread. Let's get this fresh bread out of here. Bread's got a good amount of carbs, so it should give us some energy. I'll slice this in half. This knife works well. And if I have any leftovers from the steak or bacon, I can make myself a meat sandwich. Let's make some snacks. Cookies sound pretty good. We could also use this for the s'mores. Here's a graham cracker cookie. We'll also need a side dish for our sandwich, so... We'll make some potato chips. Here's one. But... One's not enough. We need two and three. We'll have the cookie for dessert. And of course, the sandwich is the main meal. Woohoo! We got food for tomorrow now. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.